hi guys what's going up so I am back with my another video I think which will be very exciting and is very important and if you are app developer you will agree that this this video is quite important because in this video we will be discussing how to implement push notification in react native and react uh, and the push notification is a very very important feature to implement for any app and here i have mentioned why this uh, feature is so important so you can go through my blog and read the importance of push notification and in this video we will i will showing you how to implement a push notification I will quickly go through and this is a series of tutorials so this is just the part one and follow this part one and stay uh, tuned to my videos and tutorials for the remaining parts at the end of the uh, series we will be implementing the push notification successfully using react native and firebase and uh, believe me this is the most comprehensive and very easy to implement step by step tutorial that I am doing so you should follow this so let's start with this tutorial quickly I have already done the theoretical version of this tutorial so just we have to do the do it practically so I will first install the first step is, is to install the react native let's do it and to install react native command is react native init in it i will be using an older version but you please use the version that is mentioned in the uh, my blog because that is the most stable version and for that version you should be having the latest Xcode and latest iOS but I have the older one so I will be using a bit older version 0. so our project name is RNF and you can name whatever your project any name you can give so let's install Oh, sorry, the project name version is here. We are missing a double quote. So, this is installing the React Native package. So, while it's the installation is going on, I would like to tell you that you, if you have not installed, sorry, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel because we keep doing uh, everything important related to react native and react native you must have heard that become it has become so famous and so important for building uh, mobile apps other frameworks are not at par with uh, react native because react native is quite fast and it's developing quite fast and facebook is doing it i mean it's quite updating the versions of react native very fast every uh, few days you will see every few days or months you will see the new version of react native so facebook is quite active re uh, regarding this and that's why uh, the community is also growing very fast so you should if you want to be a good mobile app developer and if you want to do it cross-platform then react native you should go for react native and so i was telling that you should subscribe to the channel to stay up to date or you can just subscribe to my blog okay and we will send you notification every time we uh, we do any new blog and most 
all of the blocks are very very interesting so you can go through all of them and enhance your knowledge of react native so uh, it's almost done okay it's installing the test packages now so let's see what's our next step yeah so next step we will installing the react native fcm package okay yeah so it's done so let's open the i'm using atom editor so let's open this react native project that we have installed using our editor okay so here is our project react native now next thing we need to install the fcm package okay uh, you can go for the latest package if you have all the latest setup but i have a bit old setup so i will go for a bit older version so npm there is the command to install it npm install react native fcm and at the rate my version will be 1.0.5 okay so i'm using a older version you can just install the latest version using the following command so let's install it okay it's done now the third step is to link the package so we can do it using react native link react native fcm so this will link the package that you have just installed to the react native project okay this is the common common process that we follow whenever we install any uh, react native package so if you are a developer you must be familiar with this and finally we need to install the framework the uh, messaging framework okay and i will be using the pod you can directly install it if you don't prefer to use pod but uh, coca pod is the most efficient way i think so i will be using coca pod and the first step to do is is to fire the command pod in it okay sorry okay it is already in ios directory so i just need to do pod in it 
and after pod init I will be getting a file that is the pod file so you will see in iOS yeah there is a pod file so this is our pod file and we need to just add the name of pod that we will be using that is pod firebase messaging so below the comment just add this pod and fire the command pod install this will install all the framework related to messaging as well as the other frameworks that are needed okay so if you install using pod you like it installs all the related uh, frameworks automatically okay you will see like it installs firebase firebase analytic firebase core instance messaging google interchange utilities symbol utilities toolbox so everything related to messaging is installed automatically but if you do it manually you have to install all these packages manually so i find this more efficient and fast so we are done with all the the phase one process okay and now we can run our application we can just do we have to go out of the iOS folder and we have to do react native yeah react native run iOS ok so just fire command react native run iOS and it should run the app successfully on the simulator ok so let's wait and see if everything goes successfully in the next part we will we see how certificates and everything related to firebase cloud messaging on our Apple account, Apple developer account. Uh, post the comment below this article, or you can just post uh, on my YouTube video, means below my YouTube video, and I will because. I have, it took me almost uh, three days to understand the complete process of this push notification using Firebase and uh, React Native. So you might get stuck or you might get errors. So I am here to help you with this, with every possible error, in case it's something not new. So my simulator has started, so everything is good till now. It will take a little time. For the app to build and to run on the simulator. But it should work successfully. In case we have made some mistake, then that can create some error.
and many of the developers have heard they're saying that pod files directly don't work with react native but let's see if it creates any error because pod are very fast and efficient way to install any ios related framework so i just forgot to mention you should have pod installed the pod uh, version should be greater than 1.0 okay okay so it's working build is successful there was already a project with the same name so that's why it was creating error So, but actually uh, we need a real mobile app, sorry, a real mobile to use the push notification. Uh, this is the first phase. So we are just checking the whatever we have done, just we are testing things are working or not. But for the next uh, steps on the next uh, parts that we will do re uh, related to push notification, we will need a mobile app. A real mobile because the push notification doesn't work on simulator so our app is working successfully so these are the steps that you have to follow and then you are good and your first part is done so thank you for watching the video I hope that this video is helpful to you to use the push notification react native thank you so much guys see you next time bye bye